Uh, my name is Cole Briggs. Uh, I am the equine management coordinator um, and instructor, uh, one of the instructors here at Northeastern Junior College. Um, this is my 14th year here at the college. Um, we have uh, a few different uh, equine disciplines here in our college, a few different uh, degrees, and so the students that are working in this arena right now then are students that are in our uh, two-year equine management AAS degree. These are freshmen in their second semester right here, and they are uh, starting a colt for the first time. So most of these students have never started a colt before. Um, these horses came to us about January 26th. It's now uh, 1st of April, so none of these horses had ever been saddled or ridden um, until they got here in January. I'm Amanda Morgan, and I am the versatility ranchers coach, the horse judging coach, and an instructor in the equine program. So I think there are a lot of reasons to pick NJC as an equine program. One, we have in our region, our equine team is one of the longest standing. So we have really been here. I think this is Cole's 13th or 14th year um, here, and he has been training much longer than that. Um, and so we really have a good routine. We really know each other. We really have a good system with our horses and with our students. Two, I think we have students of all different kinds who have really fit into our program with very different backgrounds horseback and um, backgrounds culture-wise. We have had students um, who have come from an English background, a jumping background, a racing background, um, clear to students who have only ever trail ridden their horses. They've never done much more than that. Um, we've had even students who have only worked at barns before come and find success here. And a very important part of my job is to show students all the jobs that are out there in the industry that aren't just training horses all day every day. We can help our students get jobs whether it's in the a uh, training barn or whether it's in a breeding shed, whether it's a, with an association or a therapy center or whatever that may be. There are just uh, an amazing amount of jobs that are out there that many of the students don't think of until they come here and get exposed to those things. And so that's a big part of our job here is to make sure that they're aware of all those things. And they're getting a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one instruction. Um, you can see it's not a real large class size. We try to keep our class size to uh, make sure that we can accommodate that and we um, and we care a lot about it and we like it a lot. We like what we do so that helps a lot. Some direct things that they would learn in equine management, one um, big one I think is just persistence and work ethic. Um, they learn the benefit of showing up five days a week on time and putting consistent work into something and then really seeing a tangible reward at the end, really seeing a difference in the project that they're working on. Some of the other things that they learn is just basic care of the animals, basic behavior of horses, working with other industry professionals. We have quite a few speakers come, quite a few professional horse trainers come. Uh, most of the students that you see here right now are also in our um on our ranch horse team and in our ranch horse class. So they may be back here this afternoon to uh, participate in ranch horse versatility practice as well. As far as classroom classes go, they have a variety of classes on campus that are gonna be involved, um, or are gonna involve nutrition, reproduction, uh, horse care, horse health, uh, business courses, accounting, uh, basic accounting courses, those kinds of things. So they're taking all those classes um, on campus and out here in the colt training facility on a daily basis as well. If you're on our versatility ranch horse team or on the rodeo team, you have the opportunity to travel, see lots of professionals in that way. Um, and of course, traveling in itself is pretty educational. Most of our students are gonna go on to an internship as soon as they're done here, they're gonna go straight to an internship at a, a training facility. But those that don't typically are gonna go somewhere like the uh, a breeding barn, a horse therapy barn, but most of them are going to go uh, try their hand at the training side of things, going to try their hand at working for a performance horse trainer of some type, some kind typically, whether it be a reining horse trainer, cutting horse trainer, barrel racing trainer, roping horse trainer, working cow horse, uh, those types of things. It's a pretty dang good blessing to get paid for uh, doing something you enjoy. The best part about coming back to NJC is that for me, it's just home. It has always felt like home. I've always been very welcome here. Um, it's interesting that that culture just continues here. Um, student after student tells me that they just miss home. They miss Sterling, that it's a part of them forever. Um, and they 
feel that feeling pretty quickly when they get here, I think. I've got teenage kids, but I feel like I have grandkids because I have so many students in this program that have had kids in the last, you know, 14 years that I've been here. And so watching them grow is a lot of fun too, so. I think that we are a much bigger program than it appears to be. And that if people can just really see what this has to offer, it's huge. We are really well kept secret.